Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 46 of Darwell20's Let's Play series. Uh, today I'm going to jump into checking out this spirit mod. Actually, I don't need this on anymore. This spirit mod. Yeah, spirit, looking cool. Uh, this mod looks pretty neat. Uh, it, it has something to do with like soul shardy type stuff. Uh, the gist of what I get, I don't really entirely know. Um, I might make a sword dedicated to it, uh, because you can get up to Soul Reaper 7, uh, which is definitely a thing that might be cool. Uh, it gets you extra souls, so I figure a nice way to power through this mod would be to have an overpowered enchant. Can't hurt. Uh, there's Soul Pedestals, which I'm not entirely sure what they do. Um, I have no idea what the Soul Pedestals do. Um, that I'm not entirely sure of. There's also a Soul Steel Wand um converts soul on soul pedestals to crude soul oh well that, that has something to do with it then yes it does so i guess we'll figure it out uh kind of as we play along it doesn't look like there's in-game documentation unless i'm menacing it the only place it might be is under patchouli uh let's see chronicle of shadows that's apotheosis uh cyclic engineers uh extreme reactors force hex industrial foregoing laser io Little Logistics, Book of Natural Aura. We should get a Pneumatocraft soon. I love Pneumatocraft. Those drones are the best. Book of Reborn Storage, Sebastian's Mods, Statues and Thermalpedia. I don't know what this one is. Should we check this one out? Actually, I do have that in here. Which one is this? Who are you? Refined Cooking, Applied Cooking, and Melon Cube. Okay. So that's for integrating kitchens with applied energetics or refined storage. Got it. Okay, cool. So you'll also notice some of my stuff is repaired, and I have a fancy powered diamond anvil sitting right here. Hooray. Uh, I should get a better pickaxe. Everybody keeps saying get a better pickaxe. It's on my to-do list. I just haven't figured out, like, which one I want to sit down and get. We'll see at some point. Um, otherwise, everything else is running pretty smoothly at the moment. We have, you know, a healthy amount of, of power storage and good amount of everything going. Uh, let's get into this soul mod. So to get started, um, if let's talk about what our goal is. Let's start with that. So eventually I would like to look at the Vitalize mod, which can use souls to do automatic mob farm of some kind. And my, my hope is that I can get a lot of wither skeleton skulls with this. And or maybe even farming the wither itself would be cool. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how it works. We're going to play. We're going to figure it out together. Uh, I also am pretty sure that I can farm the wither with my Ars Nouveau mob farm. But I wanted to try some... I wanted to try out a new mod. Uh, you know, I haven't seen this mod before. I haven't, I haven't worked with it at all, so I want to check it out. Uh, so the main thing we need to get is a soul crystal, which starts off empty. And if you kill a mob, you will bind that crystal to that mob type. And then, presumably, the more mobs you kill of that type, the more powerful the crystal gets. And then you can use that crystal to um, farm mob drops. I think. Maybe. Uh, so to get that, we're going to have to progress through this mod a little bit. So we need to uh, get some soul glass, uh, which we'll figure out how to make. Um, so that is going to need... Um, oh, we need some blocks of lapis. Okay, cool. And some tinted glass. That doesn't look so bad. And then we're also going to need uh, to get crude soul crystals, which is going to need soul slates. Soul slates are made in a soul fire, so that looks pretty straightforward. Uh, we're going to need this, which is blocks of quartz at layer two. Um, and then finally, we're going to need this guy, uh, which is just glowstone dropped on soul fire. So we're going to need probably a healthy-ish amount of soul sand. Uh, we're going to need some quartz blocks. We're going to need some lapis blocks. We're going to need some dark glass from regular old vanilla. What was that stuff? Tinted. Tinted glass. I'm just going to that many of it. It seems like a good number. We'll see. I don't know. Probably don't need that much, but whatever. And where do I want to build this? Because it looks like we're going to have multiple of these setups. Now, I don't know if, as we tech up in them, if they will allow us to use the previous tier kind of deal because it looks kind of like a tiered type system like it looks like this is tier three uh it looks like this is tier two it looks like this is tier one and i guess this you could call tier zero if you wanted to um so i guess my main question would be can i use for example um let me actually get some glowstone real quick i forgot to grab some of that can i use this multi-block to make this recipe we'll find out 
I don't know. Oh, neat. You can do it with slabs and stairs, too. That's cool. That's cool. All right, let's start with the simple stuff, right? So we're going to need that flint and steel. And we should be cool. Let me see. Do I have some of that? I think I do. Yes. So I'm just going to start, like, super easy, right? Boom, boom, boom. Oh, hello. Did I have my magnet on? I should have my magnet on. Where is my magnet? I don't see it in my inventory. Is it over here somewhere? That's an exceptional question. Where is my magnet? Did it get in here somehow? All right, now I'm crazy. Where is my magnet? Am I just totally missing it? I do, I do have the YouTuber blindness thing, so that's 100% possible, but I'm just definitely not seeing it. Yeah, I guess I'm just making a new one, right? I have no idea where my magnet went. So, I don't know what happened to it. So yeah, I guess it's just drop that in there and get two back. Perfect. Looks good to me. Uh, now, the next thing that we need to get is... So it looks like the soul sand is at the same level. Uh, and the soul fire is layer above this guy. So then what we're going to want to do, obviously, is clear out one of each of these. Okay, that seems cool enough to me. And then that will allow me to get soul crystals. We get eight-ish? Oh my goodness. That did something. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Consumes blocks. Yes, that is a note. That note has been acknowledged. Yes, note acknowledged. It consumes blocks. All right. Well, that's good to know. So we learned a thing today. We're learning together, folks. We're learning together. That's cool. We are definitely learning together. So we do that, and then we drop one of these, and then it's going to consume it. Yes. You know what? Uh, I should have my magnet off for this, I guess, because it seems like you can pick it up before it's done, and then it means that it doesn't finish. There we go. Hello. Cool. And then I got another one of these empty soul shards. Nice. Okay. Uh, so that is an empty soul crystal shard whose only purpose is to be upgraded by soul slate. Soul slate. And soul slate is just regular soul. Now that won't consume the block. So maybe I want two of these, right? One that's just going to be lit and ready to go. And one that's going to be consumed, right? So we're going to want deep slate. I'm assuming that does not consume the block. Correct. And what I could do is just say when the particle effects are done, we know it's done crafting. Presumably. Close. 25. Okay. Now what happens to you? Do you get like burned up? You know what? You kind of do. So don't leave your soul slate in there. That's a bad time. Don't be like Dyer. We're learning things together today, folks. That's what I'm just saying. All right, so then this guy drops into here. And I guess that does another consumes blocks thing. All right, cool. Now we've got the crude soul crystal. Okay, not too shabby. And then the crude soul crystal gets upgraded with soul glass, which again, soul glass is tinted glass. Now does this consume blocks? It doesn't say that it does. So in theory, this could be my non-consuming and that one over there could be my yes consuming, right? So I could just do this. And then is it just that? Oh no, not that glass, this glass. Yeah, that works. It takes a second to craft. So what we should probably do is, if we're gonna automate this, we could set up like a vacuum it up kind of deal. In fact, it crafts, but then you wanna be really quick to pick it up. 
because it does get burned up if you don't pick it up fast enough, it seems. So if you pick it up too fast, yeah, there we go. If you pick it up too fast, it doesn't crash. If you wait too long, it might get consumed. Okay. So that, 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 and that. And then this. And then this guy goes in there. And I assume that's going to be a consumes block thing. Yes, it is. Cool. And now we've got a soul crystal. Nice. Now, in theory, I'm guessing I can craft these bits like this and this one still. Right, and then also the glowstone. Yes, glowstone still crafts in there. Perfect. Uh, which means, presumably, uh, that the deep slate would as well. Yep. That works. So, this can be my permanent one, and then this can be my temporary one. And, you know, we could always put out the fire if it gets annoying. And we could also move it somewhere, right? This was just a, let's see how this mod works, and then we'll decide if we need... A space for it or whatever cool all right so now let's go ahead and figure out how to capture mobs with this stuff so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my soul crystal um and i'm gonna i'm gonna get one of those soul awesome sword things so can i get another one of these crystal swords yes but i need some slime yes but i need some slime but i need some amber first uh, so that's going to be liquid magma, fire charge, redstone, and gold. Fire charge, redstone, and gold. Okay, and then this dude can live in here. Realistically, only one of those. And then I need some magma blocks. And I think it's going to be two, that, and then that. Wow, you got a lot of liquid magma for those two. Nice, two crystallized amber. And it did use up all the amber? Okay, cool. And then what we want is these guys with emeralds. We're going to need some slime. And then we're going to need, what is it again? Emeralds and what? Amethyst blocks, that'll work. Well, maybe it won't. Uh, do I have another thing? There's three things you can make this with. Uh, wither roses and chorus fruit. I have chorus fruit. I don't have chorus fruit. I have popped chorus fruit. I can get chorus fruit. Now we've got chorus fruit. And we do have chorus flowers that we can replant. Beautiful. Now we have chorus root. So let's get a couple of slime balls in here. I think that'll do. You. Okay. Got liquid slime. That should be transferring. There you go. Now you've got your liquid slime. Cool. I think. That looks like it's working. The liquid handling in Cyclic is a little weird at times. That's all That's all I'm going to say. It's a little bit weird at times. It's like it consumes whatever amount is in there. If I put one slime ball, 750, but it's like partially through the crafting. I don't know. I'm confused. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. All I know is I've got a new sword now. Uh, so what I'm thinking is, what do we have by enchant? Do we have that soul spirit thingy? Uh, soul Reaper 7. I don't think we have that, right? 
No, but we do have sharpness, so I could snag that. Uh, but let's get Soul Reaper, okay? So if I were to toss this in here, would I get Soul Reaper? Uh, I don't see it on there yet. So that means I'm probably going to have to do a few iterations of it. Okay, so let me do this. Let me store some experience. And yoinks and yoinks. And then I will come back in a moment uh, once I've... Uh, gotten luck with soul reaper unless i get luck right now i did get luck right now six soul reaper six that's close i can get 100 experience levels yeah i can take six and then i'll just check uh to see and then you go all back So Venom, I don't care about. Teleportation, I don't care about. Life Mending, I don't care about. Nature's Mend, Soul Reaper. That's what's up. So then I'm going to put Soul Reaper in here. And then we're going to see if we get any luck with another Soul Reaper. I did not. All right. I wouldn't mind seven just because I want it to be the best. So let me iterate a few times and we'll be right back. I'm not having any luck on that route. Um, I'm sure I would eventually get it. But I'm going to take the alternate route, which is going to be this. We're going to go here. Pop this dude here. We're going to drop this guy down. Get out my wand. Boom. And now I will have a copy of Soul Reaper 6 that I can disenchant and combine with my existing Soul Reaper 6 to get 7. Yeah, disenchanting plus Batania enchanting equals OP. Shocker, shocker. Two mods come together, and sometimes that's OP. That's how modding is fun, at least for Dire. Okay, so now Soul Reaper 7 is good to go. Now, do I want sharpness on this bad boy? I mean, why not? It seems fun, right? Uh, so this had sharpness, looting, experience boost, scavenger. Alternatively, I could just add... Um, yeah, I don't want to use all the mana for it. So I'll keep this sword for my regular use, and then these two will go on my Soul Reaper sword. Cool, and then that's it. Just for mana purposes, because I don't have that much. And we have some, but not a crazy amount. That should be enough, though, right? Hopefully to just do those two enchants. I don't think two enchants will be too bad. Yeah, not bad. We survived. All right, now I'd like to see how this whole soul system works. So what I'm going to do is pop over here, and I'm going to fly over to the nether fortress that we found many moons ago. Um, in fact, did I have to set up a thing for the nether fortress? Like a teleporter to it? Uh, it was like way the heck over here, wasn't it? Oh, there is a teleporter over there. That's cool. Yeah, let's use that. Let's use that for sure. Might need experience to get over there. I think I do. Won't hurt to have a few levels on me, right? All right. Uh, end portal, nether fortress. Yay. Cool. So what I want to do is make sure the soul crystal trader llamas. I did kill some trader llamas. Rip. I can clear this. I might have to make another one of these, folks. I might have to make another one of these, folks. I accidentally killed a traitor llama. Llama invaded my base, and I just instinctively murdered it. Because... Llama. Okay. Let's make another batch of soul crystals. Uh, so that's going to be the quartz. So we're going to want soul sand and quartz. So four of you... And then this one needs the soul plates, so we're going to need four of you. And then I need some soul glass, which needs tinted glass. I'm just going to get a few of them because... How do we do? Not terrible? 
There we go. Nice. Okay, that should be good. So you with the quartz first. Okay. And you. And then I needed soul dust. Excellent. And then you with the slates. And this would be easy to automate, right? I mean, I've done enough automation with dropping items in the world and picking them up that I think you can all assume how that would work, right? Okay, fresh soul crystal. No killing things until we're ready now. All right, now off to the nether fortress. Now we want to take our soul crystal, and I'm going to kill with a normal sword first, right? Or I could snipe, it looks like, because I'm pretty sure I killed my dudes with this thing. Okay, so as long as we kill a wither skeleton first, we should be cool. Make sure not to kill anything except a wither skeleton. Got it, folks? Mostly talking to myself right there. Dire, please. Do we have any weather skeletons anywhere? There's so many sinking blaze slime things. Reels, yo. Ah, fortress, okay. Uh, I thought that was a death point. I was gonna remove it. And then, nope, don't need to. Hold on, is that one? That might be one. In here-ish? Yes, there you go. Kill them. So how do we make out? Uh, I got eight. We got eight Wither Skeleton Skulls. Okay. That's cool. Now if I kill them with this sword, I would get one Wither Skeleton Soul. Right, makes sense. So, yes. So you get one soul per kill, but because we had Soul Reaper 7, we got plus 7, so that's 1 plus 7 equals 8. So that's perfect. So kill your Wither Skeletons with the good sword. Um, now, I don't know how many I need. Um, useless tier. Needs more souls for cage slash revitalizer. 55 until mediocre tier. Mob is soul cage compatible. Mob is soul revitalizer compatible. Now, in addition to this, I think maybe a better approach for me... Might be. Let's put all this junk away that I just accumulated. Don't I have a Wither Skeleton spawner? Yes, these guys. Now, can't we amp this up or just drop it somewhere and just, you know, get it going? The basement seems like a good enough place to spawn a bunch of Wither Skeletons, right? Now, remember, because this is um, Apotheosis, we can augment the spawn delays and the spawn count and the max entities and all that good stuff. So if we really want to go crazy with the Wither Skeleton Farm, we could use this thing to get tons of Wither Skeleton Skulls. But I'm trying a new mod. So we're going to try the new mod first. If it doesn't work out, I might fall back to something like this. Cool. Um, now, do you need darkness? You probably do need darkness. Now, when I break you with a normal pick, I get a broken spawner from Spirit. Okay, cool. Well, luckily I have lots of Wither Skeleton spawners from Apotheosis. Like, lots of Wither Skeleton spawners. So, don't break it with a normal pick. Use your Silk Touch. I assume he needs Darkness. Let's just go somewhere. Uh, that's going to be Darkish. Let's get out Mr. Destruction Gadget. Yeah, sure, why not? And this is dark now, right? And if I wanted to, I could do that. Oh, you guys have armor? That's cheating. Well, I guess a little bit of a challenge isn't the end of the world, right? Oh my goodness, and a huge amount of knockback. I may have made an error here. 
Gear upgraded. That's cool. Alright, so now I'm at 97. Mediocre tier. 31 until average tier. Thanks to my sharpness 9, this is not that big of a mistake. Crystal reaches new heights. Tier upgraded. We are now at 137. 119 until the advanced tier. So yeah. Uh, it's definitely worth it to get that super fancy upgrade. That enchant is the way to go. Now remember, without Apotheosis, it would probably be a lower level. Um, so Apotheosis is definitely making my life a lot easier here, which I'm not opposed to. Wow, that's a knockback on you guys. Holy cow. Okay, by the way, we're at 249. We need one more kill. So I assume 256 is the number at which, yeah. And now we need a total of 512 souls to get the top tier, I assume. Um, so let's put all you away. I mean, we're flush with coal right now, I'll say that much. So 512 divided by 8 would be, uh, I don't know, a healthy amount, so I'll be back in a minute. I will say I do like the little soul particle effects that pop off the enemies when you kill them. That's super neat. See? Ooh, little souls. Hello, little souls. See them there? That's cool. Alright, so we should be close at this point. There it is. New heights. And they're hurting. Alright, I'm gonna run over here. Because that thing only works when there's a player nearby, FYI. Uh, ultimate tier. So I don't think that there's any point in getting more Wither Skeleton Skulls, but I'm just gonna see if it continues adding to the soul number. Um, it does not. Okay, so we're at 513, we're maxed out, so now I can just kill dudes like this. Goodness, I can one-shot these dudes. This bow is so OP, I love it. And then you... Look, literally one-shot him. Boom. <laughs> I love this bow! Oh, I love this bow! It's the best! Alright, so then you guys all go away. My Wither Spelton's... I'll go this and this and this, and that looks cool. And Tinted Glass, and yes. And now we have a maxed-out Soul Crystal of Wither Skeletons. Sweet! So... Uh, my thoughts are I'm not going to want to do that with Withers, because that would take a really long time, even with Soul Reaper 7. Uh, I don't even know if Withers can be captured in these souls, but even if they could, I feel like it would not be smart. Uh, I mean, it would be cool if you want to automate it. It might be automatable. Maybe with, uh, I have no idea. Maybe Integrated Dynamics could do it, but I'm not sure if it would be able to identify that the, the Soul Shard is in the same inventory as the Crystal Sword. I don't know what else in this pack can do a left click uh, while also being able to detect the... So yeah, long story short, I don't know if it's automatable, um, but even if it was, killing a weather would probably be prohibitively confusing. So let's check out uh, some Vitalize then, right? So I'm thinking the next steps then would be to get into Vitalize. Oh cool, there's a little damage bar on it, but only when you hold it? That's interesting. That's neat. That's different. Uh, and I guess that shows you your progress to your next tier. So, mob is soul cage compatible. Mob is soul revitalizer compatible. Nice. Okay. So, that means we could throw it in the soul cage. Now, out of curiosity, I assume this is like a spawner, right? So, you drop a broken spawner into the fire and you get a soul cage out of it. Um, should we check that out real quick just to see? Because I'm sure I've got some spawners. Some broken spawners. Yes, we have some broken spawners from Spirit. Um, and we've got Soul Cage is Soul Steel Blocks. How do we get Soul Steel Blocks? Add that to the to do. Uh, iron Block on Compressed Soul Powder Blocks. Hmm. 
Consumes blocks, by the way. Oh, heavens. Oh, heavens. So we're going to want some soul powder. We're going to want four of them, right? Maybe it's this way? Yeah, it's that way. All right. Um, so soul powder blocks. And then an iron block goes in. And since it consumes blocks, I'm going to do it here. Did you get magneted up? What happened to you? Did I do it wrong? Soul steel block. Soul fire. Does it have to be compressed soul sand? It might need to be compressed soul sand because it's not cycling on the name of what it can be. So soul sand, soul quicksand, compressed soul sand. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to drop the iron in there, my bad. What are you doing? Soul steel block. Soul fire. Compressed soul sand. Comp compressed soul powder block. Am I doing this right? Soul powder block. Oh, compressed soul powder block. My bad. I have plenty of spawners, so I'm not going to worry about losing one. So compressed soul powder block. Holy cow. Uh, to be clear, is this any easier? Soul powder, but this consumes the blocks. Okay. So we're going to want, wow, pretty significant compressed soul powder block. Really? That much? Okay. If you say so. I don't even know if I want to go this route. There's so much junk. So in fairness, this one was pretty easy. You do get double. So I can do a stack of glowstone. Okay. And then I can turn that into soul powder blocks pretty easily and I can turn that into compressed pretty easily not bad but we're gonna need a lot of those to get the irons right because this consumes these blocks all right so compressed soul powder block yeah and there's your soul steel block but I need four of those. Now, in fairness, in order to get one of these, uh, we need a soul cage, actually. So we need to make a soul cage in order to get the soul revitalizer. Now, is this, oh, this will consume block. Holy cow, that's a lot of things. Boy, oh boy, that's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot of crafting, right? Am I wrong about this? That's like a lot of resources. I'm mathing in my head. But because soul steel blocks require compressed soul power blocks, let's do the math on this. So that's nine times the soul powder block. So I could do ingots at a time, but uh, it's just going to have to do it nine times with the same number of resources, right? Because everything is blocked. Everything is combined into times nine. So this is just a convenience recipe. It's no better or worse in terms of the amount of resources required. It's the same thing, just way faster. I think I'm going to go this route. So let's do this. Um, let's set up an advanced collector... Debating if I want to automate this. I might want to automate this. We could throw this somewhere. Um, let's get ready 
Let's automate it. Yeah, automation sounds fun. You know me, I like to automate things. So what I'm going to do is let's quickly automate this bit. It's getting close to wrapping up point, so I might want to consider where I want to put this. Eh. I don't have a great answer to where I want to put this. Because there's really two automations we want to set up here. One, that will be the non-destructive one. And maybe we'll automate the yes-destructive one. Shouldn't be too bad. Shouldn't be too bad. Um... So for the non-destructive one, that's easy, right? We're going to just do you. With some of you. And you. And then what we would have is just a dropper of some kind, right? Uh, drop without randomness. Sure. Sounds cool to me. In fact, I'll have it right here. No, drop. That means straight down. Chief. Let's get rid of this for a sec. Dropper. That means drop. Can you really only drop in that direction? You're killing me, Smalls. Um, I could just use you, right? Yeah, because you're pretty cool. You're a buddy. We know we like the factory dropper. We've been using it a lot this season. Okay. Uh, so you will be... Um, I'm not going to worry about the filters at all. Completely ignores external redstone signal. Continuous drop. I think is that one. So you're telling me if I just put something in there, it's going to drop, right? Yes, that's what I want. Something goes in, it gets dropped. Period. End of story. End of discussion. That's the end of that. Right? So then we just have to do... Um, put glowstone in. And then it crafts. Yes. And then we would want this guy. So if I got a pattern provider up here. Do, 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 do. Okay, and we said Show me this range. Show me this range. Way too big. A little bit bigger on the Y. That should be sufficient, yes. Okay, and then we will whitelist filter soul powder. Okay, so then all we need to do is say, hey, there's a pattern here um, that's going to be this, this. Yes, that's all there is to it. Okay, and we just need some cables. How do I not have cables? Oh, I do have cables. I figured I would. Okay. Uh, so then we just need to get the cable up into that thing. But the gist will be, um, you know, he puts the glowstone in, boom, it drops, and then it collects the two soul powder for return inventory. Right? Easy peasy. So I'm going to run the cabling for that off camera. Let me come back. I'm going to think about, do I want to automate the placing of the blocks for the whole multi-block? Auto crafting bit because that could be just a fun little interesting challenge for now though it's wrapping up point so dial 20 sign off hope you guys enjoyed the episode let's come back next time and uh play some more of this mod and then we'll also get our soul cage up and running our spirit our soul revitalizer bit so that's gonna need a lot of soul seal blocks like a lot of soul seal blocks so that'll be worth automating i think for now take it easy